Hi, Yelda. Hi, everyone. A warm welcome back to Tokyo. We've just watched the men's 200 metre final wrapping up in the past few minutes. And it was Canada's Andre de Grasse who has won his fifth Olympic medal. North America cleaning up with the USA's Kenneth Bednarak taking silver and countryman Noah Lyles winning bronze. But finally, a gold for Canada's Andre de Grasse. He looked ecstatic, of course, and straight away went to one of those big screens, which is a lovely moment, and talked to his family back home in Canada. It was really nice to see. Those are memorable moments at the Olympics, watching the athletes and their families. But probably the most memorable moment so far, definitely one of them, that everyone is still talking about, is when two athletes, Gianmarco Tamberi from Italy and Mutaz Esabasham from Qatar, decided to share a gold medal in the high jump. Now, the pair couldn't be split, but had an exhausting two-hour competition. This is the fourth joint Olympic podium in athletics since 1912, and I am delighted to say one of those athletes, Qatar's Mutaz Esabasham, joins me now from Tokyo. So good to see you. Congratulations, gold medalist. How does that feel? Yeah. Um, thank you very much. I mean, uh, it's feel amazing. I'm definitely exhausted, but it's really, really great feeling to be here in Tokyo and when my, you know, Tell us about the actual gold medal because it's made out of recycled electronic material. How, how does it feel? What does it look like? How is it around your neck? Really, really good. I would never tell it has been recycled from just an electronics. I mean, it's a really, really good quality. It's really heavy. I mean, it's really like weight. So you can tell the quality out of it and it's just pretty and amazing. Mutaz, we all want to hear the story. Take us back to that moment. What was going through your mind when you decided to ask if it was possible to share the gold medal? Of course, you know, we, we, we put a great show. The competition was amazing. It was the strongest high jump competition ever in the history. Gianmarco did a great job. I did a great job. Everybody else in the field did a great job. But when it comes to that 237, we both cleared that the first attempt. I know for a fact that like, me and Gianmarco being the like, past couple of years to so a really, really serious injury that could be a career threatening, uh, career threatening, and just being able to come back from that and perform at the highest level, I wouldn't want him to be at the silver position because I know what he's been through men mentally and physically, and I also I don't want myself to be in that silver position. So when we tie on that 237 and the judge come to actually explain to us if we need a uh, break off to actually somebody have gold and somebody have silver and I just look at him and ask can we both have gold can we have two gold and he was like yes that's possible and before he even finished his sentence we were celebrating I look at the market he looked back to me and that's it we know Mutaz you'll know that that moment is being talked about as one of the great moments of sportsmanship in the history of athletics. What kind of reaction yeah. have you had to, to you doing that? It's, it, as I said, like literally people really loved it. People sharing the stories with me. I'm, again, I'm getting a ton of messages from places I've never even heard about before. Um, people say they get emotional. People say we've been crying. I mean, even at the village, I mean, when we came back to the uh, village, we could not sleep. So we went for a walk and literally we've been stopped by every single person we passed through. And it was the reaction was just insane, really. And I, and I appreciate it. I love the support. I love that we did something that touched everybody's heart. And it's, it's just an amazing, really. What about people back home in Qatar? This must be such an important and amazing moment for them, too. So right, right after I finished, you know, I got the phone with the president and he saw me, he was so happy, he was so proud. And he said, one of the best thing you did is sharing the, the gold. This just showing the true uh, meaning of sport. You know, of course, the sport is very competitive. We are very competitive. We have it in our own uh, uh, self. But I mean, beyond all that, it's just, you know, law, peace, you know, integrity, unity and the true sportsmanship. Mutaz, I'm not sure if you're a reader of GQ, the magazine. But you've just been featured yeah. in the GQ. They are talking about how stylish oh. you are with your cap and also with your sunglasses. <laughs> what was the deal with the what? sunglasses when the event was being held at night? <laughs> wow, that's cool. You know, the sunglasses, it's, it's a bit of fashion, a bit of style to get out of the comfort zone. And, and also, it's like I used it as a sort of 
distraction block, the block of distraction. I'm in my zone at that moment. I'm just trying to focus. I have around 30 seconds to make a perfect jump, but I know every mistake count could be a gold, could be silver, and could end up out of the podium. So I'm just trying to stay focused, and the glass is a big part of that. And I didn't know I was featuring GQ. That's big. I love GQ, so <laughs> nice. Well, it obviously worked very briefly. What next for you? I hope you're having a nice break now. Oh, yes, finally. You know, I've been a strict diet. I've been a... Oh, dear. I think we seem to have lost. Uh, Mutaz, your line has just broken yeah. up. I think you were telling us you're going to come off your strict diet and have a rest. Good luck. Congratulations. Yeah. And thank you for providing one of the most amazing moments of these Olympics. Thank you so much.